Uh, okay guys, welcome back to our video tutorial. So the next time we did um uh SQL server connect to uh SQL server to Visual Basic 6. So the next thing we need to do is to uh add a record in our database. So I created a two labels and two text boxes which is content of username and password and then two text boxes that's named a uh, username that text username text and password text so another is uh, I add two buttons which is new user and close button so as you can see our other DC one is still here so if you're not so it's okay so let's let's first need to do is to uh, okay. so let's add a well, let's add a code for this close one unload okay. so next thing is to thing to do is size this thing to hide the other DC and okay see Try close okay. Then to fix this, fix to single. Then save. Then next is to verify the two text boxes. Text boxes if is empty or not. So let's try this. If I'm sorry, if username that text that text is not it. So let's do first if if this is false, it's both empty. So let's let's unload me message box. I'm not saying uh, drug pusher or what. Just, just a title. Just you know, need that. So let's try. Yes, it's working. So let's go. So we need to thing to do is to um, add Ado DC code. In the form load so Ado DC record source. To select passes from TV users, Ado DC one that refresh. So it turn out that uh, we need to add now the add code for this to enable to add the record in our database. So Ado DC one that refresh, Ado DC one that add new so let's try if um, these two boxes these two fields were insert in our SQL database so, so we can correctly so we can check um, one by one if there's uh, error in our code it's empty so okay, let's add the DC and uh, we can set that field name fields fields is equal to username 
Index.txt Not record set back fields txt the text Okay, so the two fields are obviously Visual name and password So we will test it if, if the data is will be inserted in our database So name, password Add the DC one dot record set update. Add the DC one dot record set dot close. So let's try to add a uh, test box here. New user. Add new user is added. And, uh, uh, Okay. Maybe information. Oops, I forgot comma here. So let's try if if it works. Oh. Oh, it's here. I'm so sorry. Hey. Oh, let's try. The uh, okay, so it's uh, inserted. Let's check in our. Oh yes, it works. So you asking maybe asking yourself what is for the reference ID. So I will try to cre create a uh, reference ID. The code is here. Let's. Try. Random, randomize. It's equal to in in rand nine nine nine. So if uh nine nine nine. If um for the numbers here, it's either you like to like to uh, put a one two three four five six seven eight nine. Or nine nine nine. Uh, how many digits you like? So, if you want to try this, so let's try message box. V. So let's try this. Oh, wait. Let's try again. Okay, again. Okay, it's working now. Okay. Uh, how many times you like um then uh, maybe put um uh, we can put uh, one hundred here so here let's try okay it works so let's turn the value to number two zeros here. Okay, it's working. So, uh, next next step we need to do is to add add record set that fields reference ref, ref ID equal to v. v. That's it. So let's try now if we correctly inserted the record. So let's check. Okay. Oh, it's empty. Why? Okay. Let's. I don't know. Sometimes it's. Uh, Let's try again. Oh, wait. So let's try this to create a it's 
put it in here so let's try LG card geek it's cute okay it now works Close. so we need to uh, now it's working so so let's review our steps so first I created a um, created a form and then uh, add new added new uh, two labels which is username and password and another two which is text box for username and username text and password text and then uh, there are two buttons for close form and button for add user button so in our close form it's added uh, unload me code so in next button in add button we have here the code for adding record in the database so uh, let's okay let's hide the text text one Oh, text one that that visible false. So that's it. So the text one that this text box will be um, invisible in our form with when it loads. Let's try. Oh, uh, see, it's not in the form. Okay. So the next on the next video we will handle updating in our records our database using uh, again using a SQL server to Visual Basic 6. So before I end this video guys please subscribe like and comment in our in my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great day.